Oh, there you are. Hello. I, I just got here myself. I hadn't realized the place was such a mess. I know, but... they're really tearing it apart, yeah. aren't they? But thank you so much for agreeing to meet me on such short notice. Oh, no, it's, it's my pleasure. I wanted to get out of the house. It looks a little bit like this. I mean, it's overrun with people. I've got my ex-wife back there, my daughter, the bride-to-be, the French seamstress. Ah, the wedding dress. Yep, yep. You want to sit amongst all this for a few minutes? I'm not sure, but Well, yes, try it. Right. Why not? <laughs> I'm almost afraid to ask, hmm. but how is Jamie? Jamie is recuperating from his gunshot wound in the hospital in prison. And he has the distinction of having his very own guard 24 hours a day. For a while there, it looked like he turned into the new Houdini. No more. Nope. He will go directly from there into maximum security, probably for the rest of his life. And I'd really not like to talk about it anymore. You mentioned on the phone that you wanted me to look over your first report on prison reform. Yes, yes, it's the first government report I have ever done. Mm -hmm. And I wondered if you couldn't read it tonight. Sure, certainly, I'll make some time for that. Could you also make some time for dinner? Tonight? With you? Don't you have a date with John? John who? We really are that will hate that report, but I did base it on my own personal experiences in prison. Which is exactly why your opinion is so invaluable to the subject. Uh, do you want to stay here, or would you like to maybe go to Barry's and have dinner? How about Barry's? Barry's would be fine. <laughs> Look, before we go, I don't mean to pry, but what happened? I mean, between you and John. Very simple. It's over. You're kidding. Oh, I always thought it was a mismatch, but I thought it also was, you know, going along surprisingly well. It was, up to a point, but not beyond. Well, having known John over the years, um, let me guess, uh, you wanted more of a commitment than he was ready to give you. I'm trying to tie John down is a fantasy, a daydream. Mm -hmm. I hope there wasn't another woman involved. Are you implying that John always starts a new relationship before he ends the old one? No, no, I'm not, I'm not implying that. I can't say that's true, but I can see the hurt from you. No, you can't. I'm covering it up too well. You're trying very hard. It's a valiant effort, but one look in those big brown eyes belies that. I should have worn sunglasses. <laughs> John was just a distraction, a passing affair. It's over now because of um, incompatibility. Do you mind if we change the subject on the way out? Not a bit. My car's right outside. Oh, so it's mine. Well, then I suggest we drive or send yours home, and uh, we'll go to Barry's together. Good idea. Okay. Excuse me. Come on, Cassie. You can't live on tea alone. Why don't you eat something? I can't keep any food down. John, I think I'm going to make reservations to go to Vienna and leave tomorrow if I can. Oh, Cassie, come on. John, I have no other choice. I should have done this a few days ago when I first thought of it. Nobody else in Landview wants to see me. I don't have any other choice, do I? Well? Well, where you live is none of my business. I oh, you are so infuriating. What do you want me to say? Please don't go? Yes, if that's what you feel. If not... All right, look, my opinion is I don't think you should run away. First of all, it'll just make uh, all of Dorian's scenarios. It'll confirm them. And second of all, it won't give you two a chance to work things out. And any third reason? Something a little more personal? Didn't we agree no more than an hour ago not to see each other, even if we wanted to? Yes, but we can't go on feeling guilty forever. Right. So just go about your life in Landview and let the future bring whatever. John, that's easy for you to say. You've got a job. You don't have to worry about being ostracized by your own family. Cassie, you'll find a job. And until Dorian comes around, you have lots of friends. And boyfriends? Yeah, I guess. So you know that. I'm afraid I don't. Just wait a little while, then talk to your mother. She'll come around eventually, because in her heart, she wants to. What she wants, John, is to get you back. My mother's in love with you. We knew that all along. And that didn't keep either one of us from being attracted to each other, did it? She hates me. She deserves to hate both of us. Well, just take it easy. Don't go getting upset again. I'm sorry. It's a momentary lapse. I need to be constructive. I've got to find a place to live, get a job. And you're not going to Vienna? Not right now. I'll wait a few weeks. Whatever. I think that's smart. It's a sensible thing to do. Do you 
you know, I hope we can at least be friends. I, I know it'll be tough, but... Yeah. Are we gonna say hello? No, we are not. Are we staying? Yes, we are. All the gin joints and all the towns and all the world, she walks into mine. You want to repeat that? Bogey, Casablanca. About another triangle, only the future of the world was at stake. Yeah, well, so much for convincing Mom we aren't having an affair. No, Dorian, I'm not going to allow you just to ignore this. This involves more than John. This is also your daughter. I no longer have a daughter, as you no longer have a son. So, tell me what's happening with you, Charles. Have you uh, gotten over Judith? Why are you holding my hand? Why not? Dorian, we're in a restaurant, not on stage, and I don't know what role you've cast me in, but I don't know the lines. And unless you fill me in on the whole drama, this leading man is going to walk right out before the curtain. Every day you find out that your daughter and your lover are carrying on an affair. How did it happen, you know? How did it start? Chemistry, they say. <laughs> what rot. At least they both admit that they made a mistake. They let it get control of them. Hmm. Well, I can understand it somewhat with John, but with Cassie. She feels like a great big grown-up woman now. <laughs> She's stolen her mother's lover. Well, when I looked at them as they were leaving, they looked very guilty, both of them. I'll tell you, there isn't enough guilt in this whole world for them to drown in. Why did they bother saving me from Diane when they were planning to kill me themselves? Can I get you something from the bar, or would you like to order dinner? Um, I'm not sure that the lady still wants to have dinner, Dorian. Give us a minute, would you yes, please? Yes, sir. What do you think? I want to go home. Okay. And you'll survive. You're a fighter and you're a winner. I have never had to fight this kind of betrayal. Mom, I didn't expect you to be here. You and Charles hadn't even ordered when we left. I wasn't hungry. Well, I suppose I would, should have waited till tomorrow to pack my things, but I figured why waste time? You certainly didn't waste any time going public with your new affair. Going public? You and John holding hands in Barry's for all the world to see, gossip about. Mom! Why don't you just pack your things and get out of here? I'm sure that John is dying for you to move into the loft with him. Dorian and John. They can work out their own problems. Why don't you think about something a little closer to home? She really believes Cassie's betraying her with John. Has John succumbed to Cassie's charm? Well, according to her, he has. John and Dorian's relationship wasn't exactly stable. They were living sort of one day at a time. Well, what's the difference, Judith? I mean, she's as hurt as if they were married. Yes, but they're not. It wouldn't have happened if they were married. Besides, I don't know that much about it, and neither do you. Well, I know her side of it. She's devastated, and I wish there was something I could do to help her. Well, maybe I should leave you alone so you could invite her over some tea and sympathy. Mom, how many times do I have to tell you John and I are not having an affair? That's a lie! You're jumping to crazy conclusions about this. I should have just kept my mouth shut about the whole thing and let it just have blown over. Oh, yes, then John would have gotten bored with you and moved on to somebody else. He's not bored with you, Mom. <gasps> oh, what were you, just some fling he had to have while I was away in Washington? I already told you nothing went on while you were in Washington. 
He's not even interested in me. I'm his employee, nothing more. Does he, does he always hold hands with his secretaries in public, gazing lovingly into their eyes? We weren't doing that. We were having a friendly dinner. And if you could have put your foolish pride aside for one minute, you could have saved yourself a lot of embarrassment tonight. I don't recall being embarrassed. I'm sure everybody in Barry's knew why you were fawning all over Charles. I wasn't fawning over anybody. Oh, Mom, you were trying to make John jealous by Oh, being... now who's jumping to conclusions? Great. Don't speak to me. Kick me out of the house. Instead of being adult and rational about this. If you came to me for sympathy, spare the tears, darling. I'm the wrong person. I did not try to steal John from you. I couldn't control my feelings for him. It just happened. I did not mean to hurt you. It's a little late to be concerned about my feelings now. Mom, please. Will you please try to believe me? I want to put all this hurt and anger aside. Of course you do. That way you and John won't have to feel guilty about me. No, it's because I love you, and I don't want to lose you. I quit my job. John and I decided that we should keep distance between us. Will you please go talk to him? I just really want you to understand. I have said everything I'm going to say to John, and I'm really sorry that you quit your job. I think the two of you deserve each other. As for me, my life is going to be terribly busy from now on. And I wouldn't have had time for John anyway. I wish you happiness. This is my scarf. I know. What are you doing with it? I've been looking for it for months. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't really matter. I want to know why you have this. Okay, I took it with me to Europe. <gasps> Without asking me. Mom, you were in prison. I really didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> so you just went through my closet and took whatever you wanted, hmm? You talked me into going to Europe when I didn't want to leave you alone. I thought maybe if I took that scarf with me, it might help to make things a little better. I might feel close to you. I thought maybe that scarf might make everything okay. I know, pretty ridiculous, isn't it? It worked for a little while anyway. Mom, we got through that ordeal. Don't you think we can get through this? You betrayed me. How can I forgive you for that? You're so hurt right now, you can't. But if you would just believe what I am trying to tell you. I guess I'll finish packing and get a room at the Vernon Inn. <clears throat> Take the scarf. I don't want it. say I'm ashamed of myself. No, I want you to be honest. Honesty and insensitivity are two different things. Now, Judy, I, I know my concern for Dorian annoys you. I'm not sure what to do uh, yeah. about it. Well, it hmm. used to until I divorced Charles, and then I realized that separation and divorce, I mean, you can't stop the feelings you've built up after all those years of marriage. I know that when Charles makes some sort of idle crack that puts me in a tailspin, I have, I have no control. Gets better. It does? I'm so glad to hear it. Sometimes. I'll try not to let Dorian and Cassie monopolize our time together. You take all the time you need with Cassie. That's what I'm going to do with Kate. <laughs> what about Dorian? 
No, I just gonna have to realize that Dorian will always be in your life. Otherwise, I may as well pack up my toothbrush and leave. Oh, no, I won't let you do that. This is our first night together in my new suite. I want it to be memorable. Huh? Mm -hmm. no. Oh, boy. First I was down, now you're the one. Mm -hmm. Well, it's your fault. I know how to fix that. What? Come here. Oh. Herb. Mm -hmm. Herb, is Dorian... I don't, is, she, is she competitive with, with Cassie? Dorian is competitive with every female in the universe. You may have a bigger problem on your hands than you thought. Why? Well, now that she and John have split up, she's going to need somebody to fall back on. And she may just decide to make a play for me. Oh, and really, are you going to encourage that? Well, of course not, but maybe you better grab on while you've still got the chance. Oh. Just giving you fair warning. I think Dorian's the one that needs fair warning. If she makes a play for you, she's going to have the biggest fight of her life. Oh, I have a feeling she already knows that. Well, if she doesn't, she's going to very soon. Mm, I think I'm going to like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a little more unpacking to do. Oh, yes? Yeah, well, I'd love to help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.